Right, this one is Black Man Drove on Grass. Um, disclaimer before we start, snowflakes, switch off now, because this ain't for you. Right, let's get on to it. We call this one Black Man Drove on Grass because it's exactly what it says on the tin. Pulled up late one night at his house. It was in the end of this, like, um, it wasn't like a cul-de-sac. It was one street here, dead end, one street here. It didn't have, like, the turning circle. This bloke had the end house. Knocked the door, uh, not you normally do. His car was parked on the drive here. We had, the, we had a spec lift back then. We had the spec lift and we parked it so he couldn't drive off the drive. We had another agent with me. Well, I had an agent with me in the spec lift and I had another agent who just parked his car in front of mine, which we'd already repoed. So we already had a repoed car. Got out, knocked the door. This bloke was so irate. He was mad. This black geezer, giving us so much shit. Well, like, mate, your car's up for repossession. I don't think he'd pay for about 12 months. Giving us loads. He says, well, do you want to give us the keys? No, not, not getting the keys. There's no way you're getting the keys. No way you're getting the keys off me. I'm like, well, we just smash your window. Because this is what we used to do. If people didn't give us the keys, we would smash the window, not the driver's window. You'd never smash a driver's window or a passenger window because you're sitting on the glass. You'd always smash the back window. Smash the back window, get the locks off, and get in the car. All the glass would be on the back seat. Then you just take the handbrake off, push it out, take it out of gear. It's automatic. We had dolly wheels that went on the back, but that's a different story. So then you just push it out, get the spec lift under the front wheels, take the handbrake off, strap it up, and away you go. And like I said, if it was an automatic or certain cars, you just put the dolly wheels on the back and you'd lift the whole thing up. So we just said to him, we're just gonna, we're just gonna smash your window, mate. You touch that car, you're fucking dead. You do this, you're fucking, he went, mate, just calm down. Give us the keys, empty your stuff out. No. Now, when you're doing a repo, you'd always get threatened. So if you're doing like 30 repos a night, or well, that was our maximum. So normally you do about 10 a day. So every repo, you knock the door, you're fucking dead. I'm gonna kill you, you're dead. You touch my car, you hear it all the time. She so just get used to it. This bloke was making every threat. We're like, mate, we've heard it all before. We, we've got a busy night. We need to get on with it. We, just, just give us keys. No, well, I'm just gonna smash the window in. So I go back, get her like a lump hammer, just about to smash the window. Never hit a window in the middle. If you hit a window in the middle, it just bounces back. Always hit it in the corner. Window will go straight through. Went to smash his window. Oh, you're going to start a bit of a scuffle going on. You're not having my car. Like, mate, you're not going anywhere. I'm going to drive it off. I'm like, where are you going to go? Where are you, where are you going to go, mate? Honestly, we, his, his car, he only had probably about six foot between us and the spec lift. So I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to get in. And, and I, normally, you, you'd stop him getting in the car, but somehow he'd run around the back. I think he'd gone in the back door and, and, and locked himself in the car. And we're like, mate, where are you going? Knock in the window. Mate, where are you going? Get out of the car. He starts revving his car, gets in the start. You're not going anywhere. You can't, can't go off your drive. So his car's here. His house is here behind him. His car's here. In front is our spec lift. So he has to reverse like this, keep going backwards, 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 go round our Jeep, and he's gonna get off the grass there. Now, we had another car parked in front, so we couldn't, but he could go over his neighbor's drive. So I told the other car we'd repo, the other agent, to park on the neighbor's drive. We didn't care, it was late at night. So the other agent's parked on this drive, so we couldn't drive off that way. So he gets in his car and he's reversed backwards, forwards, backwards, and he's just got enough room to go in front. And I just pull in front. I just, I just literally pull six foot. So now, so now he's blocked again. So he reverses back, goes back, right hand down, reverses back, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. As soon as he's gonna go around the back of the spec lift, I just reverse back six foot. He's going Fucking mental. He's spitting feathers. He, so it, for some reason, he thinks that if he does it faster, he's going to get one over on me. 
So he starts backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. He's grass now. His whole front garden is a mess. There's mud flicking up his windows. Everything. He's completely ripped his whole garden up. Now he's called the police. We didn't know he'd called the police. Or, no, did the neighbour call the police? No, he actually called the police. Saying he's been threatened. So anyway, he's, we, we're there. We're not just there five minutes. This is late at night. And we're in a borough somewhere. And I, I, I can't remember where it was but we was in, we was in like a, a small place so it took a lot of time for this place to turn up but when the place turned up they turned up in force it wasn't just one car two cars there was three cars turned up so i don't know what he said on the phone i haven't got a clue so the, the police turn up we're there and what we're doing is we're sat in our in the spec lifts just going backwards forwards backwards forwards this bloke is revving <laughs> mud's flicking around and we've been doing this for about 20 minutes and he hasn't got out to threaten us anymore he just keeps trying this same maneuver and it's just not working police turn up and he's like whoa whoa everyone switch your engines off and everything and um so we're like okay switch the engines off said, but we can't let him get round us and this police car had literally pulled in front of our spec lift so the bloke wasn't going anywhere this, this copper comes over to us right can you tell us what you're doing here Showed him a paperwork, showed him a repossession warrant. I said, I've served him, because we had a copy. I've served him a copy. So he knows his car's up for repossession, yes. So is this the first time he's heard about it? No. The finance company would always send in the post one or two letters previous to say we were on our way. And um, these coppers are talking to him, and he, he's saying that we've assaulted him and all this and all that. And his coppers come out and goes, what happened? I said, look, mate, we served the paperwork. He's got a bit verbal. And he's just, he's just jumped in his car. And, and this copper went, what, why did you do all that to his grass? What's gone on? See, he's done it himself. We haven't done anything. He's done that himself. And this copper's gone, he's, his fucking garden's a mess. I said, he's done it himself. So we, we stood back a bit, and the, these coppers are talking to him. And then this other big copper come over. And um, later on, he goes, oh, you guys look like ex-services. And the bloke was with me was ex-army. I was an ex-navy. And we told him, and he went, oh, he goes, Coldstream guards me. He's a big fucker. He goes, Coldstream guards. He said, right then, let's, let's get down to the bottom of it. And he goes, one serviceman to another. And he goes, um, what's that black bastard done? We're like, fucking, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Remember, I'm telling you, this is how it happened. Doesn't mean I agree with it. This is how things happened. This was the 90s. So we're like, pardon? He goes, what's that black bastard done? They're like, uh, um, what, you mean our customer? Yeah, what's he done? He went, oh, well, we've knocked the door. And he, what, 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 what do you need? What do you need, lads? What do you need? We're like, oh, we just need the keys. Leave it to me. I was like, fucking, he walks off. I've turned around to the other repo agent. He goes, did he just say what I thought he fucking said? And he went, yeah. He goes, you, you fucking racist bastard, didn't he? He was like, fucking hell, yeah. So we, we just stood there on the, on the pavement and we're like, fuck knows what's going on. We've got this racist copper. You just see him walk across the pavement, walk up to this black bloke. Starts giving this black bloke shit. I mean, proper shit. I'm going to arrest you for trying to run those agents over, damaging your own grass, doing this, doing that. And we're like, fucking hell. In the end, this, you just saw this but like, hand over the keys to this cold string guards. The bloke comes over, gives us the keys, and goes, Hey, you go, lads, anything else? We're like, No. And we're like, Okay. And he's like, Right, see you later then. He goes back over. He's still giving this black bloke shit. We felt really bad. Even though we hadn't called the police, we felt bad for him. So then the other agent jumped in the car. I jumped in the spec lift, and the other car we'd bought with us, and we just drove off. So that was a black bloke on the grass with an added racist copper from the 90s. Till next time.